find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Watson Hall. New episodes every Wednesday. We'll see you now. <laughs> Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. I think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. A neat tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Karoshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. 
I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. How's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for... The scanner. Take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk. We'll come back to this. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in this city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. 
I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Corporal agent, what you playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. 
told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah? Clint to want to check our pro cred, but to me it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground, sniff around. Hasta luego. You got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Transport fuck ups toxic for you, I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self-interest. 
Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there.